Right here in Thomasville, racing isn't just for pros. I'm Leanne Abotorbush, your Thomasville neighborhood reporter. I'm at the Viper Pit where locals of all ages are hitting the track with miniature cars. This spot might be hidden, but it's a gym for racing fans here in Thomasville. <laughs> Slot car racing peaked in the 60s and 70s, then faded a bit with the rise of video games. But when COVID hit, it experienced a major comeback here in Thomasville, attracting more enthusiasts than ever. People don't even really know this place is here, I don't think. And it's just we have people from all over the world that show up here for events. Tom Works, a regular here, tells me there's five main tracks in the store. But this one is one of only three Daytona tracks in the U.S. And it's built all the way in 1989. So I decided to celebrate this track right here because Aaron, the owner, they refurbished it, repainted it, rewired it. For many, including Keith Robertson, this hobby is a chance to relive the thrill of racing. It's the same feel. You're still, you're tuning cars, you're trying different tires. It's basically a scaled down version of racing out there. Keith tells me that while health and age meant he couldn't race big cars anymore, this smaller scale has him even more interested in the technical side of things. I like to tinker. Half the fun of going to the event is getting ready for the event, cleaning the car, prepping the car. You want to look good. But it's not just about racing. It's about going down memory lane and building new friendships. These commercial tracks, they brought a lot of memories, a lot of smiles to so many kids' faces, adults, also to the commercial side of it and the very competitive side of racing, you know, the slot cars. So. That's why I love it. Racing kicks off at 2 p.m. Saturday, but participants should be here around 9 a.m. to get set up and ready to go. In Thomasville, I'm Leanne Abotar-Bush, ABC 27.